Have you ever asked yourself how the JavaScript engine executes JavaScript code behind the scenes? If yes, this video is for you. And because they say a picture is worth a thousand words, in this video we're going to visualize JavaScript code execution in the browser and follow through step by step to see how the JavaScript engine perform it. But before we start, I highly recommend that you check the previous video about execution context in JavaScript because it's the main concept in this whole video. To make it easy to follow through, we're going to simulate the execution of a basic code like this one. So the simulator has two parts. On the left side, we're going to track the state of the core stack, and on the right side, we will have a preview of the different execution contexts. In the next few moments, make sure to reduce the speed of the video that you can read the comments for each step with ease. Now, let's start the simulation. Now one more last thing I want to do is to run the previous code example on the browser. Let's open the console on the DevTools, then copy and paste the code, then hit enter. At this point of the time, the code has finished executing and because as we said earlier, global variables won't be garbage collected. To prove that, let's try to access the value of A. As you can see, we still have access to A and we do also have access to our function increment and we can reuse it again. Now let's try to access the value of b defined within our function increment. As you can see, we got an error and it's impossible to access it. Now the question is, what makes some variables reachable and what makes others not? In the next video, we're going to talk about scopes in JavaScript. Stay tuned and see you soon.